My name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and today I am joined by Social General Rob. How you doing? And we have a kind of two things going on here today. One, Rob is continuing his Akbar Evolution, bringing a list submitted by Benjamin Lee. Benjamin Lee, yes. To help with his uh, Akbar testing and experimentation. Mm -hmm. A rather unique list, you guys will you can probably already tell. Just by looking at it. And uh, I'm trying a very uh, gimmicky thing. I'm, it's just uh, maybe I'll bring it to the LBO, maybe for the relaxed. Um, because I, I was just thinking, you know what? What are some of my favorite things? I love Star Destroyers and I love Thrawn. I wonder if I can fit three Star Destroyers at 400 points. Well, you can. They don't have much on them. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and obviously you can see there's no support squads or nothing. But, but it's three Star Destroyers, three Kuwaks. And that's a lot to chew through. Yeah, they're cool. And a lot of firepower. So, uh, yeah, we'll just see. We're going to test this out. Um, um, just for fun and see how viable it is and uh, how it does, you know, Rob, uh, I did tell Rob ahead how to just tailor against it just because it is kind of yeah. ridiculous. So he did bring bombers, um, uh, Benjamin well, Lee's list had Benjamin, bombers in yeah. it, so he picked a list that had bombers in it just so that he, you know, just to try to help him out. Yes. <laughs> to, to mitigate that, yes, yeah. in the same firepower as we yeah. coming in. So uh, we're going to go over the, or I'm going to go over the fleets and the mission coming up next. Then you'll see Rob and I deploying in a sped up overlay while we discuss our strategy and tactics in the pre-game interview. For Thrawn, we have him on an ISD Kuat with leading shots and assault proton torpedoes and two additional Kuats with leading shots and assault concussion missiles. No squadron support for the Imperials today. For the Rebels, in the list submitted by Benjamin Lee, we have Admiral Akbar on an MC-80 Command Cruiser with the Home 1 title and XI-7 Turbo Lasers, two Nebulon-B Escort Frigates, both with enhanced armament, and a GR-75 Combat Retrofit with Flight Commander, Bomber Command Center, and Boosted Comms. For squads, we have three X-Wings and three Y-Wing Squadrons. For the mission, of course I came in right at 400 points, and Benjamin Lee's list is at 399, and Rob chose to be second player, so I had to choose from his missions. And his missions are advanced gunnery, fighter ambush, and superior positions. And I chose to go with fighter ambush. And for this one, Rob has to wait to deploy his squadrons until all of his ships are deployed. Then when he deploys them, he can deploy them normally or at distance one of an obstacle, but they have to be beyond distance five of my first player's edge. And then whenever a squadron performs an attack against a ship and a damaged card is dealt, he gains a victory token. And as I have no squadrons, Rob is the only one that can score on this mission. So coming up next, Rob and I will be deploying in a sped up overlay while we discuss our strategy and tactics in the pre-game interview. Okay, so now that you've seen the fleets in the mission, um, you're going to see Rob and I deploying here. And Rob, why don't you tell me about this fleet Benjamin Lee um, submitted and the strategy behind your deployment here. Alright, Benjamin Lee um, submitted a one that was done for Akbar, M the MC-30, MC-80, I'm sorry, uh, Command Cruiser with home one on it. And actually has those, that's on it, and with XI-7, that's it. Um, also, he gave because I mentioned Nebulons in my um, general quarters, and that I, I do like them, but I was kind of worried about them. And on them, he put enhanced armament, which was sick. As well, and then the GR seventy five, which uh, is, is basically going to have a fighter, fighter commander, boomer, bomb command center, and booster boost comms, along with. Three X wings and three Y wings because I love Y wings. I just have a chance to use them now. So he found this list and he said, "Why don't we try this one?" So I am now. Like Ben said, Ben said, uh, "Hey, bro, this is the list I want to play. I want to try it out. It's a kind of a gimmicky list." And for Ben to play a fun list, a list that he's not really concentrating too much on, he just wants to do the fun, a gimmicky list or whatever you want to call it. It's rare. 
So I was like, okay, cool, bring it, man. And he told me what it was. I was like, all right. And I thought, well, okay, Bombers is probably going to be the best bet against it. Um, so this is why I brought this list. So thank you, Benjamin Lee. Um, I did change something on here as Benjamin Lee real quick, I want to mention. For the navigational mid, um, objective, I it was going to be infested fields. And if I had that, then it shows that would not, I don't have nothing. But I thought I thought about it. So, um, now I want to give something that would help the squadrons. So I gave them superior positions. Oh, yes. So I put that in there just to give them a little bit more thought than going, oh, yeah, I'm going to take something that's not going to matter to me. Because there's no squadrons. So, that's the only change I did make, just so you know. Uh, the deployment. The deployment is basically just to get a um, the GR-75, so it's, it's in a dangerous area, as you guys can see. But uh, it's going to be in control of basically most of the bombers. It's got the bomber command center and cruiser comps. So it's really going to try and move those fighters in. You can already see, probably about now, that Ben's already targeted, well, his first destroyer, right at it, maybe second. Um, the Nebulons are going to try to skirt around these heavy hitters because they get hit once, they're probably going to be gone. And then followed by the MC-80. Uh, with that car, he's going to try to come in, he's trying to help them out. He's going to try to keep the pressure on, you see Thrawn right there. That's probably his most expensive ship just because Thrawn itself is on it. Um, and if I can take one ship down, That'd be great. Now, I did split my, split my squadrons, you'll see, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I have Y-Wings and one X-Wing over to the wrong practical left side of your screen. Be, this be left side of your screen. And um, I have two X-Wings on the other side towards Thrawn. And that's just to kind of let, see what Ben does if the squadrons split up and try attacking him from just from different positions. Um, it is fleet ambush. No, I'm sorry, fighter ambush. So if I get a, a, a damage on him, I get points. Because only squadrons can do this, he's not going to get points. So, it's all right. so try to see if I can get as many points as possible. And we'll see how that works. So uh, that's really the essence of it. I mean, this is a really simple fleet. Um, they're all going speed. Let's see, the Nebulon's going speed 2. GR-75 and MC-80 um, is going speed 1. So they're just going to try to move around and try to stay alive and do as much damage as possible. Because these Nebulons, they can put up three dice at the sides easily. And uh, he's going to come in fast. I already know that. I already know that before he even deployed. I mean, I know he does with Kulats. I know he does with Star Destroyers. <laughs> Forget it. Um, he comes in fast and wants to just get in there and kill everything off before he gets hurt. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to do. So skirt around and do my best and try to hit him the flanks if possible. Uh, you can pick one side. You decide just to go the right direction. And hopefully my other ships will be able to come on the opposite side and do what I need to do. Get the pressure off, off me and put it more on him, I should say. Well, that's really about it. Okay. okay. So, with this fleet, guys, it's again, it was trying, I went through a lot of iterations trying to fit three Star Destroyer classes. Uh, I really want to do three ISD 2s, but just too expensive. Mm -hmm. Just base of 360 points for three of them. Mm -hmm. And then you can't fit Thrawn because it's. Uh, well, you can. We may have eight points left over for nothing. <laughs> but um, I figured I, I wanted some upgrades, so I went down to the Kuat, went through some more iterations. I tried out the Simon, but the thing about the Simon is, you know, as you notice, all three of my Kuats have leading shots, and that was kind of like the sticking point. I want leading shots on my ships, so I can at least have something to mitigate my dice for three low level. Right. And. Um, and I went through a couple versions where I had like different upgrades or um, without the ordnance upgrade, but if I'm doing that, I was just taking ISD-1 because it's the same difference. They actually had pretty much the same damage profile hmm. between ISD-1 and ISD and a Kuat. So I figured, I'd stick with the Kuat, but I wanted to make sure I fit ordnance on there. So 
getting shots with ordnance. So it's basically you want to get as close as possible and get those assault percussions, assault protons off, and just weather the storm. It, it, it is meant to be, especially against the list of squads, just hit the carriers fast and um, outlast them. Because I don't see many lists at 400 points that can kill three star destroyers. No. I just don't see it. No. Um, maybe two. Uh, well, not maybe two. I mean, I've been tabled a couple of times with my two deserves for us. So, but yes, two is possible. But I don't know about three. And so, it's basically just going to be, you know, just an old-fashioned overwhelming firepower. And the reason why I went with Thrawn is because I have no other support. Because I have such limited upgrade cards. Is to maximize their potential with the additional dial. And, and this is how I'm going to put planning my dials. Um... You know, if I was going to be taking this to the LVO. My top dials are going to start with engineering, taking tokens. Everything else from the rest of the game is nav, because the maneuvering is key. Uh, normally, the special star destroyers. And then Thrawn, and one of the Thrawn dials will always be an engineering. That way, I can take advantage just of a mass heal throughout the entire fleet while taking well, the tokens that I've already given them for a full heal potential. The other two will be con fires to maximize their firepower. So. And I already saw that coming when he said he took the Thrawn. I was like, yep, I know exactly what he's going to do. I played against Thrawn enough, and then that I probably could have got exact that idea was going to come. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, another version of this, as I mentioned that on our previous video, but I'll just mention it now as a possibility of this evolving as we get closer to LVO, is doing Mati instead. Because that makes these starter stores 14 hole instead of 11. Um, you lose the flexibility of the Thrawn dials, so Mati's a little bit cheaper, so you can fit. And then actually there's a version of this where I take Thrawn out, um, drop the Assault Concussions down to the Assault Protons, and then I can put Reinforced Blast Doors on my two non-named, just have them go forward so they get, you know, a free three healing damage cards instead they're my front line, uh, right. making them even harder to kill. So that's another version to think about, is a Mati lesson just go just, you know, Again, this is obnoxious, guys. This is a really obnoxious list. It is. Um, <laughs> again, I'm not doing a friendly game. This is for the tournament practice. Um, so, well, well, I, 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 but of course, I, any, I think any good tournament fleet that has you know built around combined arms and all that stuff, I think would shrink. But I don't know. It's just this is a lot you have to chew through. So in this one in particular, um, obviously I was at a dis deployment disadvantage, and even more so if I wouldn't have taken fighter ambush. That's why I took fighter ambush to take his fighters out of the picture. And the way that Rob set up, I mean, it's going to be I'm going to pick a one star destroyer for Nebulon because they can easily drop them one on one. And then I'm going to have Thrawn and the middle Star Destroyer once it drops its Nebulon going after um, Home 1. So we're going to do a wheel action um, based on the final picture on the right side of your screen. But you guys will see it'll be on the left side once I start filming. So left flanking wheeling action and um, I don't know. I, I'm feeling a little overconfident here because I, I think I'm going to be able to drop these Nebulons very fast and then just overwhelm Akbar. So but we'll see. If the Browns Bombers can start getting in on me, I mean, you guys have seen it many times on the channel, and I'm sure in your own play, Bombers that have three grand to go after ships, it's not a matter how big the ship is, Dead by a Thousand Cuts is a real thing in this game, and it does happen. So, yep. especially since Rob can reroll a Bomber Command if you can keep, keep Bomber Command in range. So, we will see. Um, so, we're gonna plan our dials. My dials are already planned, basically, because I already told you what they're gonna be. We're gonna plan Rob's dials, and then we'll be back at the start of round one. Start of round one. Thrawn and his Kuats all going at speed two. Just brute force four. We got some four deployed X wings that were hiding in this asteroid belt. See if they can do any harassing action while the remaining X Wing is escorting Trio of Y Wings. Nebulons are at speed 2, GR 75, and Home 1 are at speed 1. Okay, we will start with Thrawn. It is an engineering taking a token and going forward speed 2. Okay, first up is the unmarked Nebulon. 
Unmarked Nebulon is uh, engineering the dial, pick up the token, and I'm on speed two, so I'm just gonna move right along this astro uh, the debris field. Mm, you did hit it. Shield overlapped. <laughs> Would you like to take the two damage? Going on the starboard side of the same holes on the same, same holes on board. It's got you front then. That's an unmarked two. Two in the back. I'll take two in the back then. Okay, we've got my unmarked two up. It is an engineering. Taking a token and just doing a little sidestep here. Next to GR75 is a squadron command dial. I will take the token. And I gotta just skirt up right here, go to speed one. Alright, got my marked pilot. Engineering with the token and gonna be turning to the port. Try to stop the or intercept this flanking nebulon. But yeah. Alright, the marked nebulon. It is an engineering dial. I'm taking the engine token. And going at speed two, I clicked at the one and the two going port side. I slide up right up here. Hey, up is home one. Take an engineering, di uh, it's engineering dial, take it a token, and going speed one, just gonna go straight ahead to those nebulon. That's it for the ship phase, guys. Squad phase, no attacks. We'll let Rob do the moves off camera, and we'll be back at the start of round two. Okay, your start of round two. The X-Wing's over here. Move to get in front of Thrawn's flagship. And then these fighters and bombers move over to the unmarked Puat to get in position to do some bombing runs. Here we're gonna go with Thrawn. So navigate, you can use it to slow down to one. Before that happens, we're gonna do some flacking. This X-Wing is in close range, so I get blue black for two hits. Then the other one is at medium only for nothing, but uh, a leading shots and not roll, so you have to take it as well. <laughs> and just gonna go straight. All right, GR 75 is going first. It's a squadron command, but since I have flight commanders on it, thank you, Benjamin, um, I will be moving to get to move first and then be able to activate. We'll see, hopefully, I get all of them. We'll move up here first, right there. And then, you'll see if I can get all of them from there. Yes. And I have all of them. Great. And activate three. And I, well, I can activate three because I have that token I took earlier, which is a squadron token. So I'll be activating three. The three I will be activating. Let's do it all here. Okay. Uh, the three I will be activating is going to be the Y wings. So all five wings are going in. And they are going to go towards his port side. Yep. Before you do that, think about what you have on your GR-75. Oh, yeah. You're barely in five right now. Then it's going to go straight in forward then. Yeah. So we're going to move these all up, and then Take a picture and then we'll move to the dice tray. Guys, just so you know, if you're new to the channel, um, a lot of times we just do the movement first and then do all the attacks at once if it doesn't matter. And in this one, it doesn't because they're all just going to be attacking the same thing. But uh, you usually do, by the rules, um, full fighter activation. When all right, we've got three wildlings coming in. First one. Okay, first one is blank. A blank? Oh, black. I'm sorry. And, and I'm thinking of like, I'm sorry, I'm playing Republic, yeah, that's too much. Go to the second one. Oh wait, we are on Bomber Command. For a hit. There we go. I will redirect it to my port side. Second Bomber. Second Bomber. Hit. They're okay, getting greedy. Now roll again with Bomber Command. Blank. Okay, great. That's a lesson for everybody. Yes. I had a glass bomber. Hit. I'll leave it there. Okay. Redirect to the port. Port shield's down to one. Okay, going with my unmarked destroyer to navigate. I'm taking a token. Um, I did a real quick flag. This wild wing was in range. Did one damage, so it's down to five. Then just janking back the other direction. Bobbing and weaving. Okay, going with the unmarked. Uh, Nebulon. 
Um, it is a navigational dial. It is going to be using it. Speed up three. And uh, we're just going to speed up over here, kind of do a little shimmy over here. Unfortunately, I did not have shot at the middle plot, the garden unmarked plot, because of the instruction of the briefcase. Here we got my marked plot. It is in long range of the unmarked Nebulon into the side. It is a navigate, I'm going to use that dial. So we can just take a pot shot with three ribs at long range here. All right, we got three ribs. Coming on in. Oh, that's pretty good. So, just a bit. All right, I'll be using my evade, and I'll be using alert. I'll be using it to uh, cancel out the, the um, crib. Hmm. If you discard it. And then I use the brace to uh, brace down the one. Okay, shields down. Okay, staying at speed two, getting a click at the one. Um, coming on in here, and landing on this X-Wing, and getting ready to cut off this Nebulon as it tries to get around me. Where do you want the X-Wing? The X-Wing will be right on the uh, back. Okay, next up is Long One. Uh, it's a navigation dial. I'll be taking the token. And we'll just start speed one. Went right towards the Nebulon. Right there. Alright, up comes the Marked Nebulon. The Marked Nebulon has a navigation dial. I'll be using it. Uh, I'm staying at speed two, but I'm taking the extra click at the one here. And I'm going to starboard side here. Dangerous, but we'll see. That's it for the ship phase, guys. Squad phase, dropped that a couple squads to throw some shots, I think. X-Wing was it? X-Wing on the co-op, he's already attacked. Into the back. The double. Whoa. I'll brace the one and just take it. And we need to check over here with Thrawn. These guys are in range. Which I think they might be. They might be. Close. Yep, they're in range. All right. First X wing. Is that a crit? I'll redirect to my port. And that's a crit. I'll redirect it to my port. All right. So that's it for round two, guys. We'll be back at the start of round three. Okay, start of round three. Thrawn has issued fleet command. Concentrate fire to the whole fleet. My marked Kuat being swarmed by bombers and also threatening to go up the board, but with Navigate, I'm confident of preventing that from happening. Trying to cut off this Nebulon. He's trying to flank me. Meanwhile, the remaining two just getting ready to move on in and eventually start engaging Akbar. Okay, we're gonna start with my unmarked Kuat to navigate, and I'll be using it, and the Thrawn dial. I'm actually going to be taking a Concentrate Fire token with that. I'm probably preempted Thrawn a little bit too soon, so I'll take a token, get myself a reroll next turn or otherwise. And I'm then got a long range front side into the marked Nebulon. And I'll be flacking out the side, close range here, everybody else, medium range. Okay, we'll start with the flacking. Close range into the wild lane. And that is might have already damaged. Um, we'll leading shots that. Nothing. Medium range, going left, uh, closest to furthest away, so other painted wild lane. Nothing. Unpainted, hit. x wing. nothing. Very ineffectual flat. And then for the long range shot inside of the Nebulon. I'll do. Decent shot, three damage. This is familiar. Alright, I'm gonna use the evade, cancel out one crit, and then I'm gonna brace and take one on the uh, shield. Yep, port shields down. And then I'll be using the nap dial to speed up to three, getting extra click at the one here. GR-75, the flight commander tells those two white uh, painted uh, Y-wings to fly in and bomb that bomb uh, ISD. I'll look like an ISD one. ISD one, whatever. All right, first
first right wing, bombing. Blank. While we go on that one, that's that one. Hit crit. Bye bye me. Just hit my back. I have one shield there. I will. Um, just contain it. Take it face down. Next one. Hit. Leave it. Hit it's fine. You direct to my port, so rear and port shields down. Alright, the GR75 is now going forward to speed one. And he moved the two Y's that attacked to the front of the damaged Kuat. And Rob got a victory token as well. Alright, got Thrawn up next. It is a navigate, taking a token, and then taking a token with the con fire Thrawn dial. And then throwing some three more reds into this Nebulon. Um, just checking here for flak. I do have a side flak on the X-Wing I already damaged, which I will be doing. Okay, we got triple red. Move to the side. No shields there now. Oh, interesting. I'm not gonna use my token. I'm still gonna hang on to it. But I'm gonna lock down your evade and do face down damage card. And I forgot to do my flak, so I'll do that now. Uh, one damage, so that X-Wing is down to two health remaining. And staying at speed one, gonna start turning in a little bit here. And did not land on the X-Wings, but they got a nice setup to do some bomber shots. All right, we're going with the, sorry about that. We're going with the Marks Nebulon, the one that was just damaged. It's a Navigate, which I will be probably using. And, sorry, <laughs> my confusion. And I will be shooting from his, port, my port side into Thrawn's front. Okay, starting with two red and a blue from Enhanced Armament. Into the front of Thrawn. Four shields there for Thrawn. And then Akbar. And I'll use home one and change another one of the blanks into an accuracy. Thank you. And so get two accuracies. Well accuracy um let's see if we'll two damage. Whoopie. We're gonna accuracy Actually, both your um, redirects. Okay, I'll just take it. Shields down to two. All right, the navigation. We have sped up to speed three. We're also going to use an extra click at the two. So we clicked at the two and clicked at the three. Try to get the butt around uh, the quad at the same time, not hitting the GR-75. And I think I might have done it. Yep, you did. That's some Imperial Fly. All right, we got my Mark II Kuat. It is Navigate, I'll be using it. I'm also gonna use the Thrawn Dial as the dial. Don't have close range, just barely out of close, but do have medium range. I'm just gonna go and take that shot by adding a dice in, then flacking out the front on these Y-Wings. All righty, we're gonna start with the flak shots first. So we've got the Y-Wing that's on five health. One damage, and the Y-Wing on full health. One damage. All right, and then we've got Blue and a red out the side into the side of the Nebulon. No shields there. And then... Concentrate fire in a blue, or I mean a, a red. I don't want... Yeah, concentrate fire in a red. <laughs> um, it's fine, we'll uh, stop the evade and give you a crit. So face up, pass or failure, if you have no shields, you cannot recover them. And you cannot use redirects if you have no shields there. But you don't have redirects don't anyway, redirects. so no big deal actually. All right, slowing down to one. I'm just gonna do a nice little soft turn here. And uh, the Nebulon coming to me. All right, now comes the unmarked Nebulon. So I'm just gonna fire, it's a navigation dial. I will be using it. And he's gonna be firing the side arc, back bar side arc, mind you, into the rear, no shields of that Kuat right there. All right, starting off with a blue and two red. 
into the unshielded back. And the squad has also taken a damage card. Okay. And then Akbar. Yep. Pretty good roll. Wow. Okay, well we're gonna lock down the brace. Else, so. We'll redirect to my port and burn my contain. Take another face down. Port shields down. All right, the uh, unmarked Nebulon now as is going to reduce its speed, speed two. It's taking a click at the one and taking a click at the two, going back to where it was, and hopefully, I am hoping that I'll be out of the front arc, which Ben was measuring. Yep. And I am. Woo. Oh, brought that All right, up comes Akbar in home one. Um, it is a navigation dial. I will be using it. And right now I got a side arc into the front of front. Okay, starting with three reds. Yep. It's got two shields there and one on my port. Everywhere else shields are full. And then two, uh, two Akbars. And do anything about the plane, but so I'm gonna accuracy his uh, brace, and because I have XI sevens, I'm not gonna worry about his redirects as much. Redirect one to the port, port shields down, and front shields down. Okay, Akbar now is uh, using his. Uh, it's not because it's a navigation dial. Um, he's going to turn and uh, exit the one right there, and be. Go. That's it for the ship phase, guys. Squad phase. I've just got a couple X-wings here. Gonna do some shots into the side. Front's flagship. Yeah. Get some of that to back What's that? Guys in the back. What? No, those are out of range. These guys right here. We'll just have him move off camera. And these two guys here. Do we want them taking shots? Oh yes, please. All right. So into the side. A hit. I'll take it. And an accuracy. Shields down to two, we'll let Rob move his other two squads, and then we'll be back at the start of round four. Things are getting interesting for sure. Start of round four. Thrawn has revealed an engineering dial for his fleet, and as stated, it is gonna be getting hairy. Got some close range fighting going on between the Empire and the Rebels. Can the Rebels achieve a kill? I guess that's the question for the match. And then Kuat can. Alright, it is time for Thrawn's master plan. At least we'll see if there is a master plan. Uh, the unmarked Kuat, it is a navigate. He'll be using that dial. Um, has no use for the engineering dial, so he's not taking any damage. Already has a token, but what he's going to try to do is get a double kill. We barely are clipping, barely clipping the rear of the DR-75 with the front. So we'll be doing a front to rear and the DR-75 and a side to unshielded side of the Nebulon that already has, excuse me, a damage. Let's see if we that won't be enough to uh, bring these both down. Okay, we are going to be starting with the side shot into the Nebulon. So that's the most important one. This thing needs to die before it gets to escape. No shields there. One day one's on the hull, four hole left. Get a blue, a red, and double black. Wow. Oh, now it's still me. That was a fantastic roll. Um, here's the problem. Um, if you brace it, you're still dead, but you can burn the evade to me reroll the two doubles and I'm probably not going to come up. So, I'm going to use my Concentrate Fire token to reroll the blue because I really need that accuracy to lock down that evade. Con Fire token, reroll the blue. Nope. And I will be burning that, that uh, evade and uh, knocking out. Uh, I'm making you reroll those two doubles, I'm sorry. So let's see what that happens first. Uh, 
Yeah, that was a big one. And then I'll be bracing down. Alright, two face down, two health remaining. Yep. Now, let's try and get a little bit better luck here. It's GR75. Three red, three black, two blue. Blowing out the lines. No accuracies yet. No matter what I roll, if I can't get an accuracy. This is why he bring leading shots, so we will. Doesn't matter which one, because I'm re-rolling everything, except for that. Come on, actresses! Need one, stop that scatter. There it is. Although, I might not get you now. Pretty poor rolling. So, scatter is stopped. Well, I, I think I should burn the evade and uh, re make you re-roll. Actually, yeah, three hull, yeah. So they have fuel. Um, from the double, obviously. And then re reroll the red. Okay. I got you still. And that was the only way to do it. Yep, and yeah, that's the only so and just for the heck of it, we will do assault concussions. Why not? It's just gonna hit your shields, but you know, anyway. Four damage is enough. One on the shield, three on the hole, exactly enough. And Jar 75 goes down. But that's not the target I really wanted to kill. That's okay. At least one kill is good. Okay, using the dial to slow down to two and get a click at the one. I'm gonna turn in and time to square off with that bar. Alright, so now we get the Mark Nebulon, the one that has two health left. It is a navigation dial. He is going to try the ultimate Akbar shot that every Akbar loves to see. And that's to fire up to both sides. The starboard side into the back of the root of her. Alright, so the uh, we're taking him the, the Mark uh, Huat first. So, so there's defense tokens. Yep. He's taking two hull damage, no shields to redirect. I have shields on the front, but those aren't doing me any good. Already off to a good start. Mm -hmm. Yep, pretty good start. A pretty good shot. Yep, pretty good shot. Nothing else we can do about it. So, we are going to accuracy, well, brace and contain. I have no contain. Which holds it up over there, sorry. My bad. Okay, you can reduce by speed by one or change the command on my command dial. What speed do you go? One. Ooh. I'm gonna reduce your speed by one. I'm gonna make it go zero. Okay, speed zero. Taking five full damage on that Kuat. And now on the Thrawn, no shields on the front, but I do have shields on the starboard side I can redirect to. Are you going hot for Rob? So I turn that blank into an accuracy. I don't think you're in range. Uh, let's measure that all on man. It's uh, no, not no, it's not range. All right, so we're going to leave that blank as blank. All right. So we can't do anything else about that, but we have two things, and you said you have um, port or starboard shields? I have starboard shields that I can redirect to. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lock down both of them and go straight for whatever damage I can get them. Um, lock okay. down both of them. Embrace the two, two face All down. Right. So we're moving up to speed three. We're going to click at the two and the three. Just come right around here. All right, going with my damaged Kuat. It is a Navigate. Using the Thrawn Engineering plus the token I have to get six. I moved three of my front four shields and just dispersed them all around. So all my shields are at one now and I healed one damaged card with the remaining three. 
So, now we're gonna do shot out the side. Maybe my dice won't fail me this time and I can actually kill a Nebulon. And then we'll be flacking. I'm not gonna kill anything, but just gotta keep working on them. Flacking these bombers in this X-Wing. Or actually, I take that back. I just realized who flew into my range over here. Let me check this range real quick. Just add a medium, so it's not worth throwing a rip, just a single red, so yes, we will be flat. Alright, we're going to start with the flat one first. So, this is going to be going from the bottom to the top on your screen, guys. So this Y-Wing has five. Uh, leading shots that. Nothing. Other colored Y-Wing that is on four alpha for one. For one. Non-painted. For two, so he goes down to four, and then the x -ray. For one. Those damage just set real quick. Oh, great. Oh, one thing is already damaged. It's actually down to three. Isn't that interesting? If he doesn't die, I'm gonna kill you with black, maybe. <laughs> Still got, oh yeah, I mean, really two more turns left. All right, now for the Nebulon. No shields, one damage card, that's a crit. Uh, and two black, a blue, and a red. And we maybe actually do something good here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's great shots, but I need accuracy. Stop that evade. Not getting them. <sighs> All the same dudes, I'm going to leading shots this. I've got a one in eight chance getting accuracy on a red. Exact same thing. All right. Well, we're going to evade the. Um, actually, I'm not going to do two. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to burn the evade because I don't think there's much chance left. Uh, get rid of the double, of course, and the other crit, and then. Okay, and then brace it. One face down. All right, using my dab, speed up to one. And getting an extra click up to one. And trying to get out of range of some of these bombers, which I think I did. Um, let's try to mitigate some of this squad phase. Yep, so only one will be able to attack me, but that's good. All right, up next is Akbar. And it's a navigation dial. I will be using it. And I'll be shooting my side arc again into Thrawn, uh, and we'll see that. All right, got no shields where you shoot me. Already taking two damage on Thrawn's ship. I do have two shields on my starboard. I can redirect two. So start with three red. Again, Rob's dice on fire today. Mine not so much with those rerolls. All righty, that's what we got. All right, I'm going to accuracy the brace. Okay, we can take four it. damage. We're yeah. going to contain. Yeah. Gonna redirect one because of XI sevens and take three face down. Okay, Akbar is now split up to two. He is going to be doing an incredible um, swing maneuver, we'll call it. And he does not cross the Okay, quick. And he does not ram. He is in danger though. I'm not the, I mean, but okay, now the Thrawn. It's a navigate. And I'm using the Thrawn dial with the token to get six engineering. Took two shields from my back, put them on the front, then raised two shields straight up. So my shields are back up to four on the front. And got a long range shot into the front of Akbar, and then continuing to flack these X wings. This one's only on two health, so I might be able to kill him. The other one is on full health. I've not been able to we'll hit start him. Start with flacking. Yet. And start with going on two health. See, we can't drop him. We do. And the one on full health takes two as well. All right, finally decided to load our guns for flagging. About time. Well, flagging's been about average. It's been, about, it's been a pretty average. So yeah, we get one damage at least. Can't really complain about that. All right now into Akbar. Again, this is just a good start working on the beefy home run. Uh, we'll, yeah, doesn't matter. So uh, just one damage. Um, I'll stop one of your redirects. Okay, 
I will. You going to the front? Going to the front. I will. Uh, I feel like you, man. <laughs> mm. I'll just take it on the front. Just take it on the front. All right, she's All right, done. Right, order is full speed ahead. Using my token and my nav to speed up to three, getting extra click at the three. See if we can't trap Akbar here. To trap for Akbar! You know, lockdown between two kuats. With two rounds remaining, will that be enough to drop Akbar? Alright, up is the unmarked Nebulon, the one right behind the damaged kuat, and it's a navigation dial. Um, right, definitely be using it. And. I will be doing a Akbar shot right into All his right. Hand. The Kuat has seven health remaining, with one shield everywhere from the dis distribution. So starting off with two blue or two reds and a blue. Yeah. So Rob did his rituals today. His dice have been hot, especially oops, since he has no dice mitigation. He hasn't needed it. Yeah, look at that, guys. Unbelievable. All right, so so one, two, three, four, five, six. Brace to three. Um, redirect to the starboard side and take one face up. Structural damage. Woo. And this Nebulon be the little Nebulon that could. Navigation dial, as I said, to slow down though, to speed one. And now we get to see if I actually do stay on the board. We are like a centimeter away. We are barely in space. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Right there. Nice and close. You guys know the scene is actually off. It's like we're right at the edge. So, But yes, very close. Again, this Nebulon just. You know, staying in the shadow like a, a, a moray with a, uh, or a remora, I'm sorry, with a shark. Yes. All right, so the only thing in the squad phase we're attacking, we have this lone Y-wing that is actually in range of the side, which I'm assuming. Yes, I'm taking. We're to take the shot, and then everything else will be movement off screen. So let's do that. Let's hit crit. Ooh. I will use my green redirect. Send it to my front, so all shields back down again. And then that is it. Um, like I said, Rob will move the rest of his squads in the squad phase. And then we'll be back at the start of round five. Okay, start of round five. Things are getting really hairy. I damaged Kuat. Has taken six damage and is currently being swarmed and tailed. Can he kill this Nebulon? Can he get away? I don't know. All the beastings might be enough to bring him down. His shields are down. And we've got Akbar in a pincer move. With two rounds remaining. Will we have enough time and firepower to drop Akbar so that he cannot escape? Unfortunately, this Nebulon is definitely going to escape and get away. All right, we're gonna be starting with my wounded Kuat that's being swarmed. So we gotta take this Nebulon down, otherwise I'm dead. So we're gonna start with the rear, it's a side shot. He doesn't have an evade anymore, only three health remaining. Depending on how that goes, hopefully I can kill him with this shot. Especially with the Thrawn Concentrate Fire Dial. Oh, and it's a Navigate, by the way. Um, if I kill him with that shot, then I'm gonna flag out the front Try to whittle these guys down and maybe get a kill next turn. Although they're going to be beasting in me in the squad phase. I can't get away. But, I mean, the squads might still kill me in the squad phase. I mean, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tight. But I need to get this Nebulon off the board. All right, so we got Disco Dice on the other side. I need three damage. Actually, I need five damage. Get past his braces. That's not going to cut it, so I'm probably going to have to shoot out the side then. Um, I'm going to lead... Am I going to lead him shots this? Nope, oh, I'm going to save that for the side shot. So, I'm going to leave that there. I'll brace that to one. Okay, face up. Capacitor to failure. That's the same thing that you have. 
All right, so now this is side to front. Now this is, you know, one of the problems is that um, he's got three shields in the front, but I have assault concussion. So I can get assault concussions to go off. That will help. I don't know if I'm gonna do this. All right, so get this math, even with your brace. So I'm guaranteed to do one more damage on the hall from assault concussion, so I gotta get through your shields. So I've got two, three, four, five, brace to three. That'll be shields down. And then assault concussions on the sides. Because your other side shield is still up, I think. It is, that's not gonna kill you. You'll be alive on one. Um Concentrate fire. Got my concentrate fire on the first shot. Just remember now. <laughs> I just need one more damage. There it is. Finally. <laughs> well, brace that anyways. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be braced to four. Sure, okay. Yeah. Man of self-concussions, and that'll be it. Two, four, yeah, brace to four. One goes, well, self-concussions first, one face down, because that goes all first. Yep. And then four damage, three on the shields, one internal, and that'll be five. Thank goodness for Thrawn with his confire dial. <laughs> and me remembering. All right, because of my error of forgetting the confire on the rear shot, this is not going to be good. Because now these squads will for sure never die. In all three of them. And because I was not able to flat them this round, and that means they're probably going to get two full rounds of flacking on me. And uh, probably enough to kill me. I don't know. We'll see. All right, where do you want those placed? Uh, let's go right in. You have no shields anywhere. Oh, you have shields nowhere. Anywhere. Nowhere. Last round, fifth round. Fifth round. Sure. All right. Uh, we will put them right in the front. Directly in the front. I don't want no double arcs in there. All right, up next is the remaining Nebulon. The Nebulon is going to take an act bar shot into the back of Thrawn. It is an engineering dial, which I will be using. And I will be using the token that I also have, the engineering token. And I will be able to get rid of one um, damage guard, as well as move one shield up, which I'll put on my port okay, side. Okay, so Thrawn has seven health remaining. No shields on the back. He does have two shields on the starboard he can re redirect to. So, starting with two reds and a blue. And then, Akbar. Dice are still going hot. They're not within range of the, of the home ones. No. So, uh, yeah, it's up to you now. Yep, it is. So we're gonna brace to three, redirect to my starboard. And take one face down. Six health remaining. All right, Thrawn. remaining Nebulon. It's moving at speed three. It's going to take clips at the three right there. Just so it hopefully can get a extra side shot in. Next All right, time. it's time to start laying down the close range salvos. Thrawn is a navigate dial. Then using Thrawn's confire dial for the fleet. And <clears throat> we do have a double arc into the front of Akbar. Start with the side shot at close range, and then we'll finish up with the front shot. And see if we can't bring down the mighty home All one. Alright, Akbar is untouched except for one shield down on the front. Start with the side shot. Mm, it's pretty... Mm, okay. Uh, we are going to go ahead and leading shots this. I'm not using my con fire on this one. I'm going to save it for the big one. Just re-roll everything. Same difference. Okay, I'll redirect. And I'm gonna redirect the uh, damage to my port side. All of it? Yes. Okay, so shields down to one on the port. All right, now for the front shot. Come on, we have assault protons loaded on this one. 
The Frito tubes are loaded. Ready to do some hitting. Get those tricks going off. Mm, good start. It's a lot of blanks though. That's why you, that's why you bring leading shots. Alright, confire. Oh, confire in. Do I care about you redirecting? I do not. So we're going to bring it in a black. Fitting that it's blank. Leading shots this. These three blanks. There we go. And then we're going to stop the brace. Salt. Now this one is assault protons. This one's going to be going through the shields. Okay. This is concussion result first. That's why you said that's why you asked me. Why you say um, I will redirect. You got one and two. Let's see. The two, four, six. Eight, nine damage coming out? Nine damage. Yeah, it's a pretty hefty hit. It is. That was a good hit. And unfortunately, it breaks it down. Um, we're locked. So I'll have to redirect. There's no choice about that. And Where to? The, uh, the team won't matter, really. No. Don't matter. So now, where to is the question? Uh, uh. Oh, boy. I have to re I not want to redirect this in a way because if I redirect it towards another quad, then it's gonna be like thanks. Yep. Um and only have one shield on the other side, so it's not really not gonna help me on the other side, the port side. But I'm gonna have to go with the quad outside, I'm gonna have to go with the starboard side. Can't okay, redirect all of it? I will redirect the seats three five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so seven damage is absorbed by the shields. How about doing math? Then salt protons go off, structural damage. Of course. <laughs> and then two face down for the remainder. That was a pretty solid hit. And then for movement, I used my nap to slow down to speed two and turned in hard with an extra click at the one. To ram Akbar, I measured, and Akbar was the closest, so he took the damage as well as Thrawn. So Akbar is down to three health remaining, and Thrawn is down to four health remaining. All right, Akbar is now taking his shots. Um, engineering dial, uh, engineering dial, and I use the engineering token, which gives me six engineering points. I put up to maximum shields on my starboard side. Jason, uh, no, you did not. You raise one shield and move one shield, so they're up to two. Up to two, sorry. And heal damage card. Up to two, I'm sorry, on the starboard side. And I heal a damage card off of that bar ship. So now for the firing. The front ang um, angle is going right into the starboard side. I'm turning myself around to figure which side it's on. On the starboard side, while my starboard side is shooting into his. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that was this quad. Quad. So that quad. Yeah, yeah. quad. All right, number th shot on Thrawn first. Um, we've got two blues and a red. No shields there, and does have XI-7, so my redirect is minimally useful. These are Thrawn's dials, or tokens there. Thrawn only has four health remaining. Fortunately, I got lucky. And no way to mitigate it. Nope. Um, and this is the only shot coming in on Thrawn, so yeah, we're just gonna make full. So we'll burn the brace, redirect to the front. One damage. Shields down to three. And then into the Kuat. Just to maybe put some scarring on the shields. Yep. Three red, three blue. And four damage. Not too bad. Alright, we're gonna lock down your. Race. Yep. Because I'm not doing that. And we'll redirect to the port. 
um, two and take two on the front shields. So front shields down to two, port shields down to one on that Kua. And then, we'll just leave it here, we ram. Ram, yeah. So Akbar takes the damage that he healed and then Thrawn goes down to three health remaining. All right, it is now time for the unmarked Kua. It is a navigate. And of course using Thrawn's con fire dial. We do have a double arc. I've got side to front, with that, which has no shields, and then front to side, which has now two shields. And we need to do three damage on the hull uh, back bar to get him to drop. So we'll see what we can do. All right, we are gonna start with the side into the front. Let's just start uh, the whittling. I'm actually just gonna leave that. Five damage. Race to three, and where are you redirecting the damage? Uh, one place I can the nurse off on the side. You want to do the port? But only one, so I still take two damage as well. Yeah. So see. You'd have one health remaining. Right. Yes, sir. You'd have two health remaining. And you have a big salvo coming in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Question is, do you want two shields to try to absorb some of that? Yeah, I think I want two shields to absorb some of that. Yeah. So we'll redirect to the port. Take two face down. At least there's no crit there. Okay. One health remaining, and then Rob needs to hope for the whiff of all whiffs as the commander of this star destroying the forum is Grand Admiral Thrawn. We have our assault concussion missiles loaded and ready, sir. Ready to bring that far down. Our two shields here. And yeah, that did it. <laughs> and we're just having that. Unfortunately, the insult concussion did not release, but it doesn't matter. But you know, we'll just go through the full row thing. The con fire from Thrawn. I'm gonna leave in shots. Yeah, you should. Definitely. All this. Wow, he might not be dead. I mean, my dice, man, I had one good roll the whole day. Um, because... I have two shields on the back. Two shields on the side. So I still got you barely. Exactly enough. Not counting the ram. So I'm doing five damage. Shields are going to absorb four of it. You take one in the hole, and you just need one to take you down. Well, either way, if I had two on the hull, you would still ram me and then kill me anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But doing it without the ram, although in a meteoric way, I was really wanting this done in a spectacular fashion, but once again, just barely getting it done. And that'll be it for Akbar. That's still after this. <laughs> I was like, that's good. All right, Akbar. Let's be after three with my nav. Has to do this. Uh, I'll just do like so. Like, like I need to turn. Maybe I don't. I just need to skirt the edge. Make sure I don't play up the board. Lost last right. one. So we'll get no it's fifth round. Fifth round. Extra quick at the two. Do that. Yep. All right, guys. That's it for shift phase. Squad phase, we got some squads to do some work. Um, we got this X-Wing for damage. Thrawn takes the damage, he's down to two health remaining. And a victory token. Yep, and a victory token. And then to my wings, and then X-Wing doing some bombing shots. X-Wing for damage. Y-Wing for damage. 
Y wing or damage. I'm just set the fuck you on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two health remaining. With one more full round of squad activations for him to go, because we're going to round six. I think this Kuat's dead. I think this Kuat is dead. So this is gonna be a much closer game than it should have been. <laughs> And uh, Rob just got four victory tokens. So yeah, this is actually going to be pretty close game points-wise, guys. Alright, guys. Start of round six. Thrawn and this Kuat have two health remaining. Fortunately, Thrawn's going to live. And we're just going to fast roll this, guys. Um, because there's only one thing that matters to try to get Rob points, and that's killing the other Kuat. So Thrawn, it is a confire dial. He's going to be doing this little maneuver here, like so. This guy is also a fire. is going to be up that way. And we measured he was not in range to do any shots, so he would have had to move him after Thrawn. And then this guy is a navigate. No matter what I do, speed one, speed two, it doesn't matter. I'm staying on the board. So, I mean, I'll just, uh, you know, run over these guys. Sorry for doing like little like indie film style. Blair Witch State of Cam here. <laughs> He's somewhere here like this. Land on these guys. And now, between these four fighters in the squad phase, can they get two damage? There are lots of blank there's two blanks on black and red dice each. But I told Rob there's no way he's not gonna not kill him. So no way he's not gonna kill him. We're not changing this at all. This kill is not gonna happen. Or no, this kill is going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. It's guaranteed to happen. So, who do you want to roll the first attack? You know what? We're going to send in the X-Wing because it has a blind side. Okay. Accuracy. Or the accuracy too. Yep. <laughs> Alright. So yeah. now, let's we'll start the y wings. Let's we'll start the y wing at the top and we'll work our way down. And there's the hit crit. Ooh. I'm going to brace that to one. If it's structural, it's over. It is not. But still. Alright, second one. Alright, yeah. I need some blanks. I need two blanks in a row. Yeah, yeah. First one. Nope, hit crit again. Hit crit. Right. So, Kuat does go down. It's not going to be a route. And guys, this is going to actually be really close. Because uh, that was actually two more victory tokens to Rob. I think he's got a total of seven. Plus killing my Kuat. And I didn't table him. And he still has all but one of his squads on the board. So. We're going to go to points and see how close this came out to be. Okay, so this turned out to be very close. Yes. So um, Rob scored 228 points and I scored 276. So this is a tournament that's only 6-5 and uh, Rob got 105 points on 50 tokens. So. Yeah, this was a uh, much closer than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a blowout. I, I thought it would be a blowout too, honestly. <laughs> both, both did. The reason why it wasn't, I mean, the MVP of this match, for sure, is the evade token in that one in one point five yes. Armada. That both his Nebulon should have been dead when I... And um, it happened twice each time I shot them. Mm -hmm. um, two shots on one, two shots on the other. Yeah. Um, Actually, no, once because you burned it both times. But anyway, it was, uh, I had like one was a double, a hit crit, and then a double on a red that he rolled into just one damage. Yep. So not only did that reduce the damage by three, but I did get my assault concussions to go off. And then the other one was similar. I think it was maybe three damage rolled into one, taking away my hit crit. Right. So, um, yeah, because that Nebulon that ended up doing like the double Akbar smash and then kept hitting and hitting and hitting. That should have died. That should have been dead. I was counting on it being dead. Um, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, so that actually was huge. And then, of course, the I knew the bombers were going to do work. Um, no, they did pretty good, too. They, the did, re they did really good. They did, good. They did amazing. Um, even when your bomber command center died, you were still throwing out hits. Yep, yeah, I did not get an either. So, and once Rob learns not to try to roll a hit into a hit crit, yes, take the hit. It's one of those where I, yeah. I've I learned long ago with my bombers, I hardly ever re-roll if I've got a hit on the dice, just because, well, especially black, especially black dice. Yeah. It, it's just 
Take the damage. Yep. Take the damage. Don't risk going to a blank. Um, but, yeah, very close. Um, I am glad. I will say I'm glad I had Thrawn. Yeah, he's actually saved you. If I didn't have Thrawn, and, and actually, yeah, I mean, maybe in the future, if I keep going with this, I'd probably do two engineering commands on the Thrawn dials just to keep the healing going. Uh, maybe even three, just to do all healing, not worry about con fires, just to keep the ships alive. But the fact that I was able to nab, 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 and then have the healing, the con fires helped, but the main thing was having the healing. So I think if I would have had Mati, um, I would not have been able to heal. It almost would have been the same difference. Yeah, uh, because you still, have, but I think you actually would have killed Thrawn and um, the other Kuat because I would not have been able to raise shields on Thrawn. Um, or on Mati, if it was Mati, but I would not be able to raise shields and you may all just hit me in the hole again. Right. So I think Thrawn is important for a list like this if I'm going to do a triple ISD as opposed to Mati just because of the flexibility. Right. Because I'm so light on upgrade cards, having the flexibility of the Thrawn dials is going to be key. And yeah, you know the squad, you know the squad can leave it. Yeah, no, it's it, it's definitely less right. I have to, you know, it, it, this did not go. This went six rounds. It shouldn't have been. It should not have been six rounds. <laughs> it should not have been six rounds. It should have been over on round four. But uh, that, that's the goal with a list like this is that you have to, especially if you're facing lists with bombers, you got to get them quick because the tailors quick because those bombers you saw, one nebulon and bombers killed a kuat. Yep, exactly. That's all that shot at it. Yep, was one nebulon and and bombers. Bombers. That's it. That's it. And killed a Kuat. So you got. I mean, you got to drop them fast because if you yeah. let, yeah. you know, if you let them hit them for four rounds, then, you know, anything goes down. Sustained like that, especially when a Nebulon is, doesn't die. And then you have the Nebulon that was hitting um, Thrawn for a while there, a couple turns. So yeah, the bombers. It's only two X wings, but but it, it, he also had Akbar shots. And Akbar that, that, was, that was a more collaborative. But but still, I mean, you know, that's but the the one that the one that was just. Incredible, it's just one nebulon and three white ones. So, um, yep. but yeah, let us know your thoughts on the list. Um, I know Rob's gonna be doing a, a general's quarters. Yep, I will be doing that. Definitely. On his list to talk about it and maybe some more adjustments. Um, let me know what you guys what you guys think about a triple ISD and your thoughts on maybe your ideas for triple ISD in a 400 point list um, and uh, what commander you would use if you don't use Thrawn, that kind of thing. You know, an idea would be, even though I don't like him at all, he's good, but his Ozzel, that way I don't have to worry about nabbing, I can change my speed whenever I want. That's true, Ozzel, yeah. And then the Dows can be other things. And so he's cheaper too. Oh, well, I would be cheaper. He's the cheapest. He's the cheapest, right? Yeah. So that could be an option. That would give me more room for upgrades. Mm -hmm. So that is an option, even though I just hate Ozzel. But it, w it would it would not mess with my OC. My OC was going nuts all day today because what? Thrawn is in my list, but I don't have the Chimera. Want, uh, no there's no Chimera, there's no Vanta, no Fleet Mage, it just doesn't feel right. But yeah. no Defenders, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. <laughs> so if I'm, I don't know. If I'm going to bring Thrawn, i got to bring the one that I was doing, planning. <laughs> anyway. But let me know your thoughts. Um, even though it worked out in the end, I will say this. When you look at your general quarters, Rob, you might want to look at the, your other fight for that part. Right. And do you remember what happened in your last fight with that part? The, the, the one mistake you said you made. The big one. Deployment? Yeah. yeah. And your entire fleet ran away from that part. So the whole reason yeah. why you have home one was... You, you, right. No, I know. Same I thing know. happened here. Well, yeah, with that one Nebulon, anyways. The one Nebulon got yeah. one shot off of him, and then it was right. out of range as well. And yeah. the Hyper was all by himself again. Yes. So, yeah. it's one of those, just... Now, well, it, it, now, it worked out... Because, also, you were coming in with three high, three Kuat right. here. But it, I was like, oh, i got to spread these Nebulons out a little bit. Well, make them just move around. Maybe. So, here's the thing. It worked out. No, no, it worked yeah. I was not expecting to work out like this. <laughs> I will say this, 9 times out of 10, it would not work out like that because those Nebulons would not get those amazing yeah. Evadry rolls and they would have died much sooner mm -hmm. and it would have been over faster. But it worked out. That's what I mean. It worked out. Yep. Now, if you would have done this, now see, my, what I, you know, when you're doing an Akbar home one list, you need to keep your fleet together. Yes. Now, if you would have done it this way, this, this is just, hear me out here, yeah. put Akbar in the middle, yep. Nebulon in front, Nebulon in back. You now have a wall of red dice just going bland. Right. 
and you just and you don't even send your fires out. You also and then you keep your GR seventy five behind Akbar. Yeah, bombers yeah. just in front, and you just wait for me to come to you. Yeah, you can just slow roll speed one. Yeah. I come in, I might try to split you or whatever, but you know you can still adjust. Mm -hmm. And you're hitting me at long range with red dice before I'm hitting you. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm hitting you with you know three reds. So what? No, your your Akbar shots. And that way you're now focusing fire. I mean, look again, look at what a Nebulon and three bombers did to one Kuat. Right, no, right. I know, I know. Imagine if your entire fleet focused on one Kuat. You'd probably oh, yeah. drop a Kuat a turn. Or a turn and a half. Turn and a half, oh yeah. So, okay. and by the, and this is before I'm even in range to hit you with my black dice. Yeah. So by the time, especially because I'm going first. So by the time I'm in range to hit you with my black dice, the Kuat's dead. Yeah. Most likely. Another Kuat is probably almost dead. Badly injured. Bad, bad yeah. Then I come in and start hitting you hard. Well, that Kuat's gonna die. Yeah. And then we're left with Thrawn. If Thrawn is the only one you killed, and you've probably lost an Nebulon at this point, and then you're still brack. I mean, I think you table me if you keep your fleet together in a castle in a box. That that is that is one thing I need to do. Yeah. I need to make it a just, just snail. Well, right. Yeah. But, I know how to cast. Yeah. I'm like moving like yes. a snail across. You know? So it's just when you're just yeah. keep that in mind when you're running because what you because you want home one. Keep yeah. the fleet together. Yeah. And and consolidate. No, so I know, I know. That way everything can hit all at once. Yeah. And then that's one um, thing I, I'm so I been like it was something in my mind when I was gonna begin to oh no, before Ben got here to play the game. And I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put home one. I think I actually I was gonna put the beginning, I think, at first. And I thought maybe in the middle. I was, I was kinda of toying with that idea. And this is before you got here. And um, I was like, okay, I got to remember to put the, the uh, GR-75 behind, blah, blah, blah. But then I was like, he's not going to have any squads. I'm just going to send those squads out there. Let's just hit them hard, fast, and quick, and then get those nebulons to go around. Yes, I know I have to be close for a home one. But I was thinking about, you know, get them to go around, so he's like, well, wait, I got to cover my butt, you know, and you turn, and you do everything else. So I was trying to throw you off. But I should have stuck to the plan. I always say this, guys. Stick to your plan. Um, and just done it the slow, as Ben just described, the slow way. Like I said, I might not have done it. Never on front and back. But um, that is a good idea. Thank you. But, uh, and it also protects you from... What I did to Akbar was coming into the front. Right. Because if I do that, the Nebulon's there. So it, even if I get into the front of a Nebulon, mm -hmm. so you got three dice coming out the front. Yep. Three reds. Yep. And it's very hard to get out of a Nebulon, especially a ship that size, out of the Nebulon side arc because it's so narrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, now, I just said all that. You guys see what happened? This is still a close game. Yeah. Very close. Yeah. It still worked out. Yeah. I mean, it was still, you know, Splitting my feet. I saw what you were doing. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, but no. But and I went for it. Yeah. Because a single kuat should be able to drop a, a nebula <laughs> in one turn. But it's a dice game, guys. So sometimes it does go your way. You can't count on that every game. Especially when you got a game right there, they can also lose. Yeah. And um, you can't roll an accuracy to save your life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So again, everything I just said. I mean. We have results that show that a different yep. way works, mm -hmm. but I. But as far as like a core strategy, it's going to work more often than not. Because I think if we play this game again and we do the exact same thing again, right? You know, just considering the average, I think those nebulons disappear, and I don't even need to get through the shields on my kuats because my dice aren't going to roll that bad two games in a row. <laughs> so okay, yes. We're gonna say that we're not gonna. Well, so I mean, I again, we're, we're, talk, we're talking about averages here. It's nothing to do no, with I know, right karma. Uh, so, it's averages. We do this exact same thing again. Mm -hmm. Those nebulons die. We yeah. do it a third time. Those nebulons die. Yep. So it's but averages. If you do the castle, mm -hmm. the snail. He very I I don't know a scenario where I win. Because you, you would just have to be your red dice is going so horrible multiple turns in a row, it's where you can't, where you just, because you don't have the dice mitigation that you need. Right, right. And that so, was, and the, luckily, my dice ran hot. Oh, the dice were really great. The my dice were fantastic. Wow, maybe I shouldn't put re rolls on myself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> when you're in a snail pace, but, right. and that's the thing, because let's say your dice weren't hot, you had no right. mitigation, this goes yeah. a totally different way. Oh, that wouldn't have been opposite. Right. Right. Yeah, so. But if you're in your snail mm -hmm. castle, you have overlapping fields of fire, so you yep. can yeah. 
one yeah. ship might whip and the next ship won't and you know, yeah. that kind of thing. So, exactly. But again, you guys are probably thinking this and typing in the comments, you know, I was saying all this, well then we just saw results of a different way. That well, worked. yeah, so, and again, I and tried again, to And almost died. I went to Alpha. Yeah, to Alpha, I'm like, no! And then that would have swung it the other way. Yeah. <laughs> so it yeah. was, this was a very close game, closer than I thought it should have been. And uh, yeah, so I could I could be full of shit. So no, I really don't. Do it. I really don't. Do it. <laughs> so, but, yeah, and I really wish I could have got the Nebulon, the last Nebulon, in a little closer. That might have done it. But um, unfortunately, well, not fortunately, unfortunately, because it was an engineering dial the last, the dial right before mm -hmm. the last turn, the fifth turn, and it really helped him out. And if I had a navigation dial like I had all the other times, I would have been only like, close enough. So that would at, he would not be able to get out of range, probably. Uh, well, no, because I'm first player, I would have. Yeah, but it would have been a little bit more difficult. I think you're going to speed one. No, no, no. I was going to speed two. Two? Okay. Yeah. But it, still. Because I was first player, there's no way your Nebuchadnezzar was going to get a last shot round six. Mm -hmm. um, just because, I mean, I was going to move from first no matter what, just, get a, just in case. But the thing is, if you would have tried to move closer because I'm first player, I could have taken a pot shot at you out of my rear. Yeah, but I don't think that would have. You only had two health remaining. On that Nebula? So, yeah. Mm. So, there's an outside chance I could have killed you. Right. <laughs> very, very outside chance. But it's one of those... Right. What did he lose? You don't know. Yeah. Because he, he didn't burn his... Um, and he still had his Confire tank and took Puerto Rico as well. Well, okay, I didn't have my eBay on that one, too. No, your eBay was for Confire. did burn that one? Okay. That's why... If you, that's why it, they are, you burn both eBays. That's why they're alive. Okay. Um, that's the only... I mean, it's so ridiculous. Yeah, how well the burn eBay rerolls did. Man, I'm telling Both you. Both of them, I mean, yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah. And that's why that's why they made those changes, 1.5. So yeah. that small ships can survive at close range. Yeah, but yeah, otherwise, I don't think there's no way no these ships I don't know, if this was pre-1.5, this would have been just you know, over not, not, not even for fun. Game. It's no. Anyway. No. So Benjamin, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, that was a, it is a great list. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh you, like you said, you listen to my comments about in the general quarters about the nebulons, and I was trying to figure out how to do it, and you did it. You showed me how to do it. Um, but luckily, I'm telling my guys, weren't hot. They were very hot for a while. Got a while there. Round six, they were tired, but uh, or five, and uh, but and my just like you, like we already said, we got out of position and kind of way out there. But uh, no, this is a great list. I mean, mm -hmm. this. Can do a lot now. One thing to think about when you guys talk in general's quarters with Rob, mm -hmm. um, the side art for CR90A is are the same as Nebulons, yep, and they're much cheaper, yep. And actually, I think there so, is a list. That's so, if you up. fit, you could probably do three CR90As with enhanced armament for two Nebulons. So, now you have you just increase your firepower by 50 percent, mm. and they get doubly vague, yep, and they got a redirect, yeah. So, because that, that, that's just, that's another potential. That, yeah, that's one thing I can do. <laughs> so, so now, and so now, just as you're experimenting, yep. you know, instead of trying to do MC3s and stuff, just have Akbar on his home one, and you got three CR90s, yep. and you set them in your snail. Yeah, in the snail, yeah. And once they come in, the CR90s are faster, then you can start speeding up and start circling. Right, and they still be within the And they're four more maneuverable. So, I mean, that's even more scary to me than Nebulon's. Yeah. Having three CR nineties and Akbars at the side in a cluster with yeah. home one, so, yeah. uh, so I mean it's nasty. Yeah. But like I said, there's a list yeah. already um, in the general scores was put in there, or yeah, I think general scores um, for CR nineties. So that might be the next one that you see. So. Hey guys, uh, I proceed to start talking about the giveaway for November because Rob and I filmed this before Thanksgiving last week. And because of the holiday, I was delayed in getting this out before I announced the winner today. So the giveaway is actually not what it, I was saying there. That's why I'm doing this voiceover instead. The giveaway is going to be the absolutely fantastic custom round dial that Garrett has put together and a $25 store credit to Admiral Taylor's Ship Shop. And I'll be announcing the winner on January 1st. And how you enter subscribe to the channel and just comment in this video that'll give you an additional entry or your first entry if this is your first video to comment in and you can comment about anything but you know more specifically for this one 
Uh, let Rob and I know what you think about our fleets. Let me know what you think about a triple ISD list in 400 points. Is it feasible at all in any realm of possibility for a tournament list, even a relaxed tournament for Las Vegas Open? Um, give me your ideas, even just for fun, for a triple ISD. And also keep sending in ideas for Rob's Evolution of Akbar and check out his General's Quarters that should be coming out sometime later this week to talk about this fleet in this match specifically. So thank you guys for watching and uh, look forward to seeing more of these uh, test lists for Akbar and for LVO, etc. as we move into the new year. So have a good one, guys, and until next time, take it easy.